Hi everyone, welcome back to Mario Maker Challenging Levels. This time I'm actually uh, going through my uh, blog post where everyone listed their requests. First one is from Dread Trap or Flying Kitty. It's Babam Babysitting. Um, here's the description the user left on my blog. Hey Whitehawk, sweet to see you're taking requests. Can you play my level Babam Babysitting? Code, yeah, code, 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 it's right down there. Uh, the point of this course is to bring a bob bomb with you to the end so you can break some blocks with it. And you have to guide it without letting it despawn while doing hard challenges along the way. It'd be awesome if you played it, thanks. P.S. Look for secrets around the beginning and ending of the level if you get stuck. Or, yeah, if you get stuck. P.P.S. This level has a groove you must get into to beat, so don't give up too quickly. I'll admit it was pretty tough for me. But once you figure out how to make sure the bob bomb doesn't despawn during some parts of the stage, you'll find it much easier to complete. PPPS! Do not kill the bob bombs let them fly to the end of the stage where there's a blocked pipe, and then let it explode to open up the pipe. Pretty big description, and it doesn't really improve my uh, mood for playing this level, if I may be blunt. Usually when you do gimmicks like this, you keep the level easy. To make the player get used to it. Anyway. There's a mushroom over there. What's this? Okay, I need to wear this. Probably. So I got this on. And there's mushrooms right here. Where's the bomb though? Okay, so it's a flying bomb and I have to make sure it doesn't despawn. Fair enough. And I just lost my power up. Great. That was pretty quick. Do I need any of these power ups? Maybe, but uh, I think what bothers me right now is that the, b the bomb exploded. How do I prevent it from getting hit by the fire things? I guess that's my first puzzle. Oh, oh, actually, I should probably block the fire myself. Okay. That's actually not a complicated at all. So I do need this. And dang it. So I do need this. Wow, really? I'm holding the run button. Do I seriously have to be running at a certain speed to grab it? Well, if I'm running too fast, I actually push it. Ugh. There we go. And I went way too quickly over there, so let's despawn a whole bunch of stuff. Actually, there's something up there. I should probably check that out. Ugh, if I could just reach it. There we go. Uh, but I'm gonna break all of the blocks with uh, this helmet I'm currently wearing, so I should probably kill myself first. Go up here, and what's in this? A one up. Wow. That's exactly what I was expecting now. I was hoping for a Yoshi, to be blunt. Anything else? What's over here? Well, there's coins up there, but I'm not sure it's possible to reach that place. Uh, just gonna check for an invisible block, just in case. Nothing. Nothing here. And obviously nothing down here. Okay, let's start this level again now. Sorry for all of the delays, but uh, when it comes to puzzle level, you kind of want to take your time. Unfortunately, I failed once again. Okay. Wow, I'm moving much faster than the bombs themselves, jeez. Anyway, ah, they all exploded. Well, let's continue the level to see what's uh, beyond anyway. Eh, it just kind of continues. As long as there's no more fire, I should be fine. Oh, wow, I can do this? <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, probably should not do that, though. Although, with these, I can go high up in the sky. Maybe I can abuse that for something? I should try that out. Also, I'm wondering how this is section is gonna go. Jeez. There's more going on. Probably don't want to get hit by the fire at all. Um, probably gonna need the spring for something. Actually, it's a trampoline. These are trampolines. I always thought they were gonna be that they were supposed to be called springs, but they are in fact called trampolines. At least that's what someone on YouTube told me. And there's something up there. And wow, really? Those coins did not help me at all. Go ahead, ba bomb. And now let's go. Hmm. 
Okay, I think I'm starting to get how to keep the bomb alive. You just have to let it go ahead for a bit. Make sure not to despawn it. Cast to stay on screen. It's too bad it's a little slow. Actually, do I need multiple bombs? I hope not. Anyway, yeah. Go ahead, try to hit me. Not gonna do anything. Uh, probably don't want to destroy the blocks these guys are standing on, though. And I don't want to go too high up in the sky for fear of making the bomb despawn. I'm gonna let it go ahead a bit. Now I'm gonna continue. Uh, keep it on screen. Keep it on. Oh, uh, yeah, this part. You have to go ahead pretty, uh, quite a lot. Cool. Do I have. No, unfortunately, I only still only have one bomb. Would have been neat if I had multiple, though. A slow level, but not a bad one, so far, anyway. Yep, whatever. These things are surprisingly poor at uh, hitting me. Take sorta kinda my time jumping on these, and then hopefully it didn't despawn. Okay, cool. We're safe. For, for now, anyway. Uh, I could take a hit here. Just where this uh, other thing I have. Actually, as long as I'm keeping this uh, on me, this uh, shell, I could potentially break those blocks at the end. I'm quite positive. Actually, I probably need this. I should carry it with me. Until I can confirm I don't need it, I should keep it with me. I don't like trampolines and note blocks, by the way. Some of you may have learned that from me from a while ago. Okay, I think I'm starting to get uh, why sometimes I kick these shells. It's because I'm still in the air. Either that or because I'm facing backwards. Crud. Well, time to wear my spare helmet. I'm pretty sure that I could have in fact uh, used the uh, other shell for much later in the level, however. Also cool, I've got multiple bombs. I'm probably gonna, only going to have one left uh, after a certain segment, though. One. Yeah, the other one despawned. Okay, there is a limit. Okay, so I need this bomb for... Here? Wait. Is this a loop? I hope not. This better not be a loop. Also, what's with the music? Kind of annoying, seriously. Okay, so that wasn't what that was for. I was supposed to... Oh, wait, no, actually, it spawns more bombs. Okay, never mind. Still, I was getting kind of concerned there. So, yeah, this is kind of a poor ending, if I may be honest. All of the noise effects are uh, really bothersome. I'm just going to throw these away. Because it's going to make things much easier. Okay, come on, Mr. Bomb. Got to go here. Except the spring is... Well, got unblocked. managed to unblock one of them, but still. Okay. Ah! Don't want to get hit. Ah, I got hit. Better not get hit again. Don't want to lose at this part of all things. Yeah, sh should be fine to leave the uh, other springs. Maybe. It's because if I go to get those springs, uh, the bombs are going to start walking on the no blocks, and I don't want that to happen. Ah, whatever. Wow, seriously? All because of freaking note blocks. I told you guys, I hate note blocks! Ah! What a way to f up your level at the end. Jeez. I, for all accounts, I've beaten the level, but because of uh, your crazy uh, setup for the end of how you're supposed to solve the last puzzle, it's just annoying. Uh, for what it's worth, I'm, I'm liking that it's not nearly as hard as uh, the previous uh, two levels I had to do, but. Jeez, don't when you're doing gimmick levels like this, you don't want to go overly hard. 
It's just gonna make the level worse for the person playing it. Or I guess not overly hard, but overly annoying to control or to finish the final puzzle or something. Of course, it was all my fault to have died at the end, but you weren't making things easy for me. For no reason at all. You're, you made things so freaking confusing with all the trampolines and the note blocks and the bombs you have to throw at the wall. For no reason other than to annoy the players to get that at the end. At least I'm, I, I'm pretty sure that's the end. Actually, uh, well, no, I, it's probably best I did it this way, but should really get rid of all the springs before I actually uh, unblocked that. Whatever, just go to the end. It's just annoying. I, I, I have this feeling I might glitch, though. Not to mention, do this, do, there's this part. Anyway, yeah, that's this level. It, it actually didn't take me that long at all to beat it. Uh, but it didn't leave me with that good of an impression. And it's all because of the ending. Like, why was it all crazy like that? Should have just been the, the like, uh, you open the pipe and it puts a bomb generator and you have to break a few more blocks and that's it. Technically, that is what it is, but for some reason, there's a bunch of springs and no blocks everywhere. Uh, still, everything before that was well designed and it wasn't that difficult. Still, there's rooms for improvement. Gumbella's Kuribo Temple. Doesn't seem to be that difficult and seems kind of fun. Uh, this is actually the first time I'm going to be playing a second level in a challenging levels playlist. Kind of a danger, because you never know when you're going to hit a super hard challenge level when playing these. But this one looks fun. Let's try it. Goombella. Lots of people like her. Is that supposed to be Goombella? I'll spare that Goomba. It's not like that Goomba is hurting me right now. Hmm. Well, better just press this piece switch before I do something really dumb. Oh, now I'm stuck? Terrible! Better enter this door. Where does it lead? Uh, to a spot where I have to wait. This is this doesn't have an this doesn't have the feeling that it, it is a challenging level, but it looks fun, and I appreciate that. Hmm, actually, you know what? This makes a funnier sound effect. Do you guys not agree? The heal sound effect sounds better. At least that's what I think. And huh. This is a confusingly easy level, jeez. Like Ace Ben, you know that this is the challenging level playlist, right? You're supposed to put challenging level, but well, maybe maybe it's challenging for him or her. Maybe that's what it is. After all, there's there's no I didn't put like a I didn't put a barometer or something to. That was not funny. That was not funny at all. But yeah, I actually didn't put like a measure of how challenging the levels need to be. Like. I definitely don't consider... I, d I do think that Panga levels are way too difficult. Those are way too difficult. Challenging levels are, I feel, are something that can be beaten like in 20 minutes. Not an hour, but 20 minutes of attempt. Anyway, what the hell? What the hell is this? What was the point of that? Yeah, yeah, I see the twomps. And yeah, okay, they generate more Kuribo's shoe. This... Looks difficult. Also, I'm liking how uh, these things exist solely to prevent the twomps from rising back up because if they could do that, it would make it easy for you to cheese the level. Anyway, okay, it's not that difficult. Hmm. I kind of want to go over there. I probably don't. It's actually. Huh, I thought this was going to be more challenging, but it was actually not that hard at all. Uh, what am I supposed to do here? You know, besides touching those uh, skulls. Probably just avoid the fireballs, I guess. It's a little easier when you have those things to carry you around, but they don't carry you around forever. Hmm, also, how come how come Mario can't crouch 
while on the... Wow, we can destroy these? How come he cr can't crouch when he's, uh... In Kuribo's shoe? Could he not do that in the original Super Mario Bros. 3? Pretty sure he could. Uh, probably an invisible block. Yep. Uh, please let me go up there. Thank you. And moving on to the next section. Uh, as long as you have Karibo's shoe, you are... F <laughs> nice try. Nice try. Those would have squished me, by the way. And I lost my Karibo's shoe. Is that a bad thing? Not at all, actually, because I got another midpoint. Midpoints are always appreciated! And I almost died right there. Still need my Karibo's shoe. And there's a message down there. Thank you, hidden block. Hmm. Thank you, message. Uh, oh, actually, I, I actually made the jump. I'm surprised. Uh, yeah, those don't fall. And you get another mushroom. This is a very generous level. I appreciate that. I don't know. The only thing that's souring me on this level right now is the hidden blocks. Those feel kind of uh, cheap. But overall, this is pretty entertaining for a level. You gotta take your time, but if you're good, you can probably speedrun it. Well, it, I, you know what? It's funny. If I had actually not been able to make through that gap, I could have uh, gone back through the door for safety. Instead, I got stuck in the worst possible spot. Hooray for me! Oops, I didn't mean to hit that. Good thing I can get a replacement right over there. Just give me that, little Goomba. Here you, Goomba. Thank you, Goombella. Man, these spike tops are way too slow. There, much better. Actually, went through the gap. I uh, didn't mean to get hit. And another mushroom. And another Kuribo's shoe. And another passage is about to get blocked. What now? Uh, probably need to use this Goomba's... Koopa Clown car to go up there. Correct? Uh, well, that's what the spring here is for. Got hit, but that's okay. Uh, actually, I probably need a, another Kribo's shoe to make it up there. So, please make this jump, Goomba. Ah, uh, he's not making it. Crap, he doesn't get adjusted at all. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to get hurt if I touch the Goomba. For reference, I don't... Uh, I should have figured I didn't hit the spring the right way. Never mind. And now I need to use these bombs to uncover this passage. I, I swear I was actually uh, making that jump with a spring to begin with. But turns out that wasn't the case. Okay. The Koopa Clown car is free, but... Still need to uncover the passage, which I'm failing that terribly. Okay, this is fine. And unfortunately, I missed a Kribo's shoe. That it? That's the end? Yes. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Not, It didn't feel like a challenge level, more of a puzzle level, but it was fun, except for those two hidden blocks. I don't know why those were put there. I mean... They aren't that punishing, considering they're right after, like, uh, midpoints, but they did make this level feel a bit lamer than it should be. Alrighty down there, if you want to try this yourself. Hope you've all enjoyed this video, and hope you'll have a nice day. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to try Panga's Skyzo level. Maybe after a few more challenge levels. Bye-bye.